Damn, bro, right as I start the game up for today. <laughs> Very nice with the elite clue scroll. That's a uh, two recently from this task. All right, master 52 next. Oh, yes. What's up, man? That's uh, whip number eight in the bank. Thank you very much. So, master clue number 52. Here we go. Oh, wow. Only four items, huh? All right. Pretty good uh, kill, to be honest. There we go. First kill of the day. And I'm um, not breaking a dry streak. 140 dry. Feels, feels super good. All right. Come on. Break it. Oh, dude. The hardest raid today, and I, I couldn't get it. 144 uh, dry, but getting close to 80 agility. I would like that. For that base 80 and Relica agility course, it's going to be dope. I am about to get a uh, pretty monumental level here. Not just because it's an agility level, but also because that means now I do have base 80s. That is pretty nice. So yeah, that's 80 agility. So I do need to do agility for some uh, marks for stamina pots. And now I can use the Relica course, no problem. So I'm looking forward to the Relica course because now that I'm 80 agility, I now have the penalty for marks of grace. So if I continue to do Sears Village course, I will get significantly less marks than I normally get. So I usually get 15 hour, probably I won't get anywhere close anymore because of that penalty. But I'm pretty sure the Relica course should be giving me more marks of grace per hour. So I'm going to go and test it out right now. So I have done a little bit over an hour now of the Relica course. And I'm getting around 48k agility experience an hour. Which unfortunately it's quite a bit less than the Sears course. Sears course I was getting like 50, like 4k pretty easily. But I believe you can get up to the same experience right here at higher agility levels because currently I do fail this course quite a bit like I've noticed I've probably fallen like six times or something in the hour but in terms of the marks of grace it is really good so this is the main thing that you know I care about the moment is the marks of grace so it's almost the same as the Sears course back before the penalty so I guess it's not too bad I have collected quite a bit of insult heads at this point and uh, with the 354 Absol Demon insult heads I can get myself 90 prayers so I'm gonna go and do that that way I will uh, get myself base 90 combat essentially so this is going to be the Absol Demon spawn for the 90 prayer and I've been doing it for a little bit over an hour as you can see, 413k per XP was gained, but yeah, around 270k per XP an hour, which is insane. Did I actually get a combat level? Yes! Wow, that's crazy. It's been uh, months since I've gone a uh, combat level. But yeah, here it is, 90 prayer, and that means 90 base melee combat stats. I suppose that's really, really cool. Wow, nice. I can combine spirit shields now without having to pay for it. If I do get an, you know, another one in the distant future, but yeah, very nice uh, small milestone right there. All right, we got a superior choke double, first one of the day. All right, got dark totem top. Oh damn, second ever uh, fastest time right now. Good points too and everything. Five eighty though. All right, really good raid though, but fortunately, uh, almost. Oh, 150 dry. Get him. Yes, here we go. Oh my god! Oh my god! I broke the dry streak. Wow, what? Dude, okay. I can't really be set mad about this, dude. Holy shit. Well, hey, I got two pairs of dragon claws now, but... Oh shit, I almost was 150 dry. Oh my god, I broke it. 140. And 48 dry streak. Jesus Christ. Not a bad, I guess, item to get for breaking a dry streak, yo. Oh, dude. That, that is uh, very nice, honestly. Shit. Well, I'm still gonna keep trying to get those unique items, though, man. That, that's the main goal. 
it's good to you know break the dry streak and feel a bit motivated i need to go and get myself my next unique item however long it takes i'm just gonna keep going you know it could be a twisted bow you never know Thirty-five thousand six hundred points pre r points we got superior number 131 and greater abyssal demon so pretty good shot at the imbue heart oh yo you know what that's pretty good elite clue scroll is always nice man all right you know what i definitely will spend 100 points for this goddamn shroom spare because zygomites are like one of the you know easiest tasks to do for points so might as well make it a bit more convenient because i'll be doing these forever all right goddamn definitely by the auto spray it's so so nice all right so master clue number 53 check it out oh boy always get nut sacks man it's been a while since i've gotten any uh, unique equipment decided to uh, do some neck rails not bursting just because i kind of miss this you know i want to chill a bit more all right so just finished the necro task at the tower it's around 24k 23k an hour so the art light's pretty nice for this but uh yeah it's around 200 kills an hour probably go do the catacombs more though but when i don't feel like it i guess going back here isn't too bad anyways since you get other rewards from the normal ones Wow, guys, I'm halfway done with my rune darts. Actually, over half. Damn, dude, I, I made so many. 20 plus thousand. But they go away so fast. Um, hmm, shit. I don't even think I have enough rune to upkeep this. Even with... Oh, uh, that's 600. That's 6,000 darts. Damn, I, I need to work on some mining, I guess. Yeah, back to more mother load, I guess. So the rune darts has kind of given me motivation to go and do the Falador Diaries, all of it. Because if I complete the whole Falador Diaries, the Mother Low Mind will give me higher concentrations of higher tier ores. So I should be seeing like runite ores and stuff more often. And that is really beneficial if I, you know, plan to use like rune darts all the time. And the only requirement that I don't have, uh, skilling wise, is the runecrafting. So I need 83 runecrafting so I can boost 88 to craft the 252 air rune simultaneously. So I'm getting close to there. So as soon as uh, I get this runecrafting level, I'm probably going to get this elite diary done. Oh nice, elite clue scroll. Alright, well I guess I'm going to do a master clue after this task. Let's see if I can get a equipment or something. That'd be sick. Ooh, I did. Nice. Greater Demon Mask. Yeah, that's cool though. That's a unique item, man. It's been a long while since I've gotten an equipment piece. This dust double test is amazing, dude. Superiors for days. Alright, man. Let's check this one out. It's almost dead. And it goes. Damn. Well, I have like 10 totems now though, so. Gotta go do Scotizo maybe tomorrow. Okay. Alright, this one's gonna give me a worm here. Nice! 84 thieving. That's crazy. I wonder how much XP, you know, is just from raids for that level, dude. But 300k to 85, I guess. You should race them at this point. Uh, well, the Dragon Warhammer. Oh my god, I just got 6 plank drops in 1 kill. What the? This is the level that I've been waiting for for a little bit. Not too long. 83 room crafting, though. So nice. Now I just got a boost and yeah, we will finish the Faldor Elite Diaries. Cannot wait, it's gonna be so nice for mining. Plus five, got it! Alright, come on, we can do this. Empty, drop, pure essence. Okay. Yes! Completed it! Oh man, that was so much work. I had to like drop everything to get this to work. But yeah, that's the hardest part of the uh, Elite. Falder Diaries done. Feels good. Give me the roots. Yes! Elite Falder Diary task done for that. Alright, so I thought I was done, but um, unfortunately, to buy the white two handed sword, you need the master ranking for your, you know, knight rankings. I'm at adept at 800 because of my master clue. 
So in order to get master, I need 1300 points. So that means I need to get 500 more uh, black knight kills. There we go, guys. I got the white knight master. And uh, just curious, I actually did time it. it. Took me 33 minutes to basically get 500 kills. And surprisingly, I was getting 100k range XP an hour. So that spot I was just at earlier by the two uh, chairs that are open, really good. Uh, recommended by my friends so definitely would do that if you are looking for fast black knight uh, kills all right guys I should be able to yeah buy a white 2 h yes and it should say complete all the elite tasks in the folder area yes thank you very much yeah folder shield 4 really good shield because this thing recharges your prayer from 0 to max twice so technically this shield is like one and a half you know to two prayer potions which is really nice so i can definitely bring it to a lot of places and of course the lamp i'll put this on agility honestly he's either that or or herbler but agility is nice because yeah i want to get the relica uh experience better at higher agility levels and of course the biggest uh, reward is going to be the increased higher tier auras that you get from the mother lows so i'm gonna obviously uh spend quite a bit of time there and uh, see how big of a difference it is i'm quite excited to you know give that a try i hope i see a lot of rune auras just wrapped up on an hour of mother low mining after the update and i'm getting anywhere from 43 to 44k mining experience an hour and it's been pretty damn stable at that number and that is a lot better than what I used to get. I used to get like 37k mining experience tops. And that's if I actually, you know, put in the effort. So it's quite a big difference. And in terms of auras, I definitely notice, you know, more higher level auras and I'm seeing definitely less coal. Uh, Runite ore specifically though, I don't see the craziest difference. But I did notice in one of my big batches of about 180 nuggets, I got like... I believe like seven rune auras which normally doesn't happen I usually only see like two to three at the most from a batch of 180 nuggets so it's definitely a noticeable increase in rune aura but not the craziest thing I say the Falder Elite Diary is gonna help me out a lot when it comes to supplying me with an adequate amount of rune darts because I really need to upkeep that for my PVM goals anyways here's a quick uh, summary of my PVM goals and the progress I guess so I'm at 145 superior so we're racking up that pretty fast and of course we won't know when the B heart's gonna come but hopefully before 200 KC I think that'll be pretty fair and let's go ahead and check the boss log so the main things I'm currently working on is of course rates so over 600 now and expect to see 700 coming up pretty soon and also the other thing that a lot of people are probably wondering is Corporal Beast. Like what happened to Corporal Beast? You know, you say you were going to do Corporal Beast. Well, try to do it uh, once a week or something. But honestly, I just don't have the time because I think raids is just much more important. If I can get a Twisted Bow, you know, that will open me up for tons of different content, even future content as well. Whereas Corporal Beast, unfortunately, even if I spend like hundreds of hours there, I probably will have like no content to show for so yeah in the interest of time the uh, raids content is definitely more important but I would love to go back to you know some uh, infrequent Corporal B sessions but I think I want to focus on getting my 12 unique item first from raids I think after that I'll try to you know get to 500 Corp KC and see if we can get lucky or something anyways I'm gonna be wrapping up with today's video guys thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you are new to the series and you want to stay up to date then feel free to subscribe and that way you'll know exactly when the next video comes out but other than that I hope to see you guys soon with another video hopefully in less than a week take care